Hey, it's Kate and today I am so excited because I have for you a huge Primark haul. Not just that though. We also have a huge amount of things from Boots and Superdrug and also a Made by Mitchell mystery bag as well. Not gonna lie, it gets to this time of year. I just am in the mood for shopping. I have no money for shopping, but I need to shop. So I did, and I thought I'd show you guys because I'm so excited about these bits. So I'm gonna start with the stuff from Primark and I'm gonna start with clothes first. So the first item I've got is actually this pair of black high-waisted denim shorts, which have like rips in them. I really love this style. I needed to get bigger size. Now look, no shame here. I needed some bigger shorts. My trousers are not big enough for me this year and that's okay, I'm okay with that. So I've got these in a size 16. They are actually a little bit big, which you know, makes me feel better about myself, but I I think the 14 would have been a bit snug so I'd rather have a bit of room and feel better about myself. So these are really cute. They're not too short which is quite nice and these were £13. These are blue denim jean shorts in the same style as the black ones so they have the rips and the phrase. Really love this style of short in the summer. The next item I have is this collared bodysuit in this like sagey green colour. I think it's so pretty. It's ribbed. It's a thong style bodysuit. I really love the collar with this v-neck and on it looks beautiful and I really like the colour. I got this in a large and it was £8 and I just think it's going to look so nice coming into spring and into summer. I just think it's really cute. This is the white version of that greeny bodysuit again just a super basic for the summer i think really pretty again large eight pounds next i got another bodysuit i kind of feel like i'm in my bodysuit era this is a thinner bodysuit and a much more foggy it's like a bit of a whoa hello kind of a bodysuit but it's in this more like stretchy material it's white it's got a round neck thinner spaghetti straps it is really nice on and i got this in a large again and it was seven pounds so i think this is just such a nice basic for the summer this is like a tan beigey version i feel like the camera is washing out the color just a little bit on this i think it's a bit darker than it looks on camera but it's just the same bodysuit but in this like beigey color as well which i thought would be a nice basic i think i got this in a large yet yeah, again and it's seven pounds yeah i just thought this could be really cute next i really love this item i think it's so pretty i got these powder blue trousers they're actually more like suit trousers i'd say and they had I think a matching blazer and I'm pretty sure a matching waistcoat as well and they were really pretty like I did nearly buy all of them even though I don't need them just to have the matching suit why do I need a suit but I just loved the powder blue color of this they're not quite wide leg but they are pretty wide on the leg so I just thought these into the summer would be so nice with the top even like this bodysuit just super cute, dress them up, dress them down, but I just love the color. And I got that in a size 16, they were 14 pounds. So I've got a pair of white fray shorts. These are actually different style of shorts to the black ones. I definitely prefer the black ones. I prefer that kind of like high waist, like distressed look across them, but they didn't have them in white. I might, when I go up to Preston, just have a look and see if they have them in white and kind of exchange them. For now, I've got these ones and they've just got kind of like a fray on the bottom and they're a bit longer but I got these in a size 16 and they were eight pounds then I saw these and I thought number one my cargoes which I love from Stradivarius I hope one day I'll fit back in them but right now they do not fit but I only have one pair of cargoes that I actually wear and they're quite a light color so I saw these and I was like I don't have that color of cargoes at all even like before so I picked up these hockey green cargoes and they are wide leg and I think they're really cute on i actually got this in a 14 i know sizing down woohoo the cargo seemed huge when in the 16 and these were 16 pounds but i just think these are quite lightweight cargoes actually i think they'll be really nice into the spring and the summer I think they're really cute. So yeah, I got those. I got this dress. I didn't actually try it on. I literally saw it just before we went and got in the queue. And I was like, I didn't see that. And I didn't try it on in the changing room, but I wanted to get it and try it. So it doesn't fit or I don't like it. I like to take it back. But it's from the Rita Ora collection. It's a little mini dress. So it has a round neck, little mesh sleeves. And then obviously it's like this pink, like snake skin print and then it has ruching on the sides and kind of just like flows down loose 
and then at the back it has a cut out at the top of the back which i think with a tie i don't think you'll necessarily see my bra in this which i'm hoping but yeah i need to try it on and see what it looks like we might hate it but i got this in an extra large it was 16 pounds but yeah i just want to try something new the last clothing item i got in primark i am in love with this is a new pajama set you know you might be thinking kate i think you've got enough pajama sets now never i saw this color and literally i could not leave it behind i was like i don't need it but i wanted it so badly i think this i just think it's adorable it's one of their satin top and bottom sets the shorts and short sleeve top one but it is in this gorgeous lime green neon color with the baby pink accents and i just think it is adorable like how cute is that you can't tell me it's not cute i won't listen if you tell me it's not cute and then this is the top in the the really cute little collar and the buttons and the little pocket i love these i have this like a this short set in black with pink trim i got that for my birthday from charlie and i also have the long sleeve version for winter i have it in like a pink leaf pattern so i've got three of these now but i just i could not pass up this color i thought it was gorgeous i got it in a large and it was 15 pounds for the pair it is so cute like imagine it with a tan i can't wait for my summer holiday to italy and i will be rocking this pajama set definitely I got two more things from Primark before I move on to everything else. And that was from the beauty section, you know. So the first thing I picked up was the PS Pro Golden Goddess Body Shimmer Oil in Gold. And this was £4.50. And this is just an oil with like gold glitter in it. And I've never had like a body oil before, but... I know people use these like famous beautiful people use them like before they go out for big events and we have our sports ball next week and so I thought this would look really pretty with like on my shoulders and stuff with my dress so I picked this up to give it a go and then the other thing I picked up was the PS Superfood Papaya Balm to Oil Cleanser was £5. They also had a hyaluronic acid cleanser I want to say but it was smaller so I wanted to get this one. I used to love the Primark balm cleanser I had. It was like £3 and it was brilliant. Like why spend loads of money on a cleanser when Primark do such a good one? But they haven't had it for ages and then I saw this cleanser. It doesn't really smell like anything in the pot but I don't know if once I start using it it might like release a papyri scent. What? What does papaya even smell like? So that is everything I got in Primark. I'm going to do my Made by Mitchell parcel first and then the huge boot haul. So Made by Mitchell was actually having a sale last week on his live, which was his six piece mystery bag for £15 instead of, I think it's normally 30 And I, I do quite like to get his mystery bags because I like to try new products and I thought, what's the harm? He's got some new stuff out. So we actually got one of his makeup sponges, which are really good sponges. Then I got this ME8 brush, which is a small fluffy brush, but it's a flat top brush. I got the blush in Drip Drip. I actually already have this, you guys know, if you watch my makeup videos. I love Drip Drip. Like, it is my favourite blush. I use it all the time for my looks because it's so glittery. I am not mad about having a duplicate of Drip Drip of all the duplicates I could have got. Then I got this blush, which I was a bit like, oh, I'm not sure at first. This is in the shade Very Berry. Berry and it looks like kind of a dark really deep mauvey berry kind of color when I put it on the back of my hand and like blend it out it actually sheared out to a beautiful color I'm actually going to be doing a video where I test out all the new beauty products I've got so I will definitely be testing this out in that video to see what we think of the color a gel glaze cream eyeshadow and this is in the shade for a gray day in this really pretty shimmery gray color. I actually have one of his, I'm actually really interested to try out this gray and kind of do a gray look with it. I know like a gray smoky eye maybe. All lip, no trip lip liners. And this is in the shade, I love gossip. It's in this really nice, like again, kind of brownie mauvey color. So I actually think it'd go really nice with that blush. So moving on to the main part of the beauty part of this haul i went a little bit mad i've clearly been spending too much time on tiktok so these products are mainly from boots but like one or two might have been from Superdrug. so i picked up some refills of my wild deodorant you guys know i use wild i love wild i've been using it for over a year now but obviously you've got to buy new refills and charlie got me refills for christmas he got me three which i was really grateful for i better get some backups 
just for like when I do need backups then I don't have to buy them for a while. So I got my favourite every kind of like all the time scent which is the coconut and vanilla one. But then I also saw the one Charlie got me that I love and I haven't used yet because I'm saving it for holiday is Ocean Mist. And I saw it in the store and I was like oh my god they have Ocean Mist. So I picked up another one so I have a, a spare because I really love the scent. Then I kind of ripped open the box to have a look at this earlier and so I've wrecked the box. But I got this body brush from Boots. It's just the Boots own one it's the glow tan blending brush so i guess they kind of use it for when you apply your tan and like get in all the crevices nicely but i've actually bought it for the primark glow oil to like rub it into my skin so i think that'll give me a really nice flawless look i can't tell you the prices of these things because i don't have the receipt i'm always on the hunt for new shampoo and conditioner because i can never find shampoo and conditioner that i really like for my hair like it'll work for a little bit and then it won't i tend to have quite get quite greasy hair quite quickly and also my scalp is quite sensitive and like flakes but i saw this and I thought I'm gonna give it a go. This is the Monday shampoo and conditioner and it's the gentle one. And I kind of was drawn to it because I was like, oh, it's gentle. Like a lot, lots of them are moisturizing and I think that adds more grease to my hair. So I thought, oh, gentle, like that will be nice on my scalp. And it kind of, it doesn't have SLS and it's PETA certified and everything. So I'm gonna give these a go and see what we think. Next, I got the Boots Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I want to start using more serum you know we're not getting any younger the skin is not getting any younger we should probably be using more like good the skin products so I got this hyaluronic acid serum to just apply at night on the theme of serums I actually picked up the bioma hydrating serum so you can see I'm into the hydration I don't know I just I always see this brand but I really love the packaging and I thought I'm just gonna give it a go I love that it has a dropper um, I was just like I'm just gonna give this a go so it's a similar kind of product it doesn't have hyaluronic acid in it I don't think no it doesn't have hyaluronic acid in it but I was kind of thinking I might use this more in like under makeup kind of vibe then I got this super drug own brand vitamin E skincare hydrating mist feel like we're seeing a theme now of hydration you can never go wrong with hydrating mist i find so i picked that one up i got this boots own brand again it's the exfoliating scalp serum with salicylic acid so it says that this scalp serum gently exfoliates your scalp while keeping it moisturized it helps the scalp look less flaky and dry and promotes healthy hair so obviously i was saying with the shampoo that I find my hair gets a bit flaky and has some problems. I've got this to see if it can help out my scalp a bit and hopefully it will because it wasn't too expensive and if this can help me and do magic then I'm all for it. I also picked up the St. Moritz Daily Face Tanning Moisturiser in Light. You guys know I'm pretty sure that I use St. Moritz Tan. I love the dark foam all over my body and I use one of the glow serums for tanning my face. But I always find my face tan fades faster than the rest of my tan because obviously I'm washing my face all the time in like an exfoliating. So I kind of thought let's pick up a moisturiser and see if this will like maintain the tan. Then I picked up a replacement of my collection lasting perfection concealer in the shade fair five you guys know that this concealer is my all-time favorite and so i just need to pick up a new one but while i was there i actually found this one which is the collection lasting perfection hydrating serum concealer again in the shade of fair five the collection lasting perfection hydrating serum foundation is actually the foundation i've used the most i love it because it's more of a serum foundation it's glowy it's lighter for my skin and so i thought maybe my under eyes would like that too with the concealer so i thought i'd get it and give it a go and see what we think I got a top up of the Lasting Perfection Sheer Loose Powder in the shade Translucent 2. Then I picked up the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. But I've always wanted to try this concealer and it was like e.l.f. was having a deal or something for certain products. If you buy like three, you got one of them free. I was like, I'm going to pick it up and give it a try. I'm not sure I've quite got the right shade. It's pretty close, but it's not quite the right shade. Um, but it'll be close enough, I think. But yeah, I'm quite excited to try that out because I've heard good things about the e.l.f. concealer. And I also decided to pick it up in the shade 
rich chocolate and I picked it up in this shade because I thought it'd be really good as a bronzer shade like a cream bronzer it looks like a really nice shade for cream bronzer on me another bronzer I picked up the collection cream bronzer now this product I've had my eye on for a while because it's a dupe as you can probably clearly see of the Chanel bronzer it's a cream to powder finish I've had my eye on it I haven't bought it and I thought you know we're going on our shopping spree let's purchase it and see what we think so it's quite like a light kind of orange yellow bronzer so we'll give it a try but i'm quite excited about this one nyx fat oil slick click in the shade going viral if you didn't see these on tiktok do you live under a rock but i think they're like a dupe of the mac ones it's like a lip a colored lip balm and you i'm not going to do it because it'll all come out but you click this green button and the product comes out the top and you apply it and i also got the nyx fat oil lip drip this is the lip gloss or lip oil in the clear shades i really like the doe foot on this i also picked up the mua makeup academy hydro juice peptide lip balm in caramel glaze i hear so many things about peptide lip balms and i was like what is the hype i saw it it was like a couple pounds and i thought this shade was really pretty i picked up the elf power grip primer i don't have this i've been holding out but I believe it is my time to try this primer. I love my NYX Dew Me Up Gold primer. That goes sticky. And I love my Wee Cherie primer. I use that actually a lot for competition makeup because it keeps it on for so long. So I thought, let's try another grippy primer that has lots of good views. Although, Collection now have also just come out with a new, like a new kind of copy of this, I guess, in the same colour. And I nearly picked it up, but I was like, why do you need both of them? But that might be a good dupe, I don't know. And then, literally, this new release this has only come out a few days ago i think or like a week ago the elf power grip setting spray and i just was like i really want to try these as a pair it reminds me of the we Cherie pair which i have so we'll see what we think of these products so that is everything i picked up on my massive shopping spree um, i'm really excited about all of these products and clothes there will be a video coming soon of me trying lots of these beauty products so yeah get excited for those videos and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>